from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. Hey everyone, this is Eric, KJ4YZI. Got the MFJ 20 meter single sideband transceiver. This is a 10 watt QRP 20 meter sideband or CW uh, QRP rig. Totally backpackable, totally portable, portable operation. I, I'm going to be making some videos here on some QRP. I got a few loop tuners and uh, basic how to operate QRP. I love QRP and this radio right here is, is pretty cool. My friend, a local ham, just picked up the 6 meter version of this. And uh, it's pretty cool to have, you know, if you're, if you're an enthusiast and you go camping or backpacking or what, what have you. Uh, instead of bringing the FT450 or the 897, you can bring one of these. Uh, affordable enough to where it'll it'll do its job. And uh, we're going to go over a few things here. To start, uh, I, this is the MFJ9420X as they label it online because it comes with the uh, microphone here. The 5-pin dynamic microphone, 600 ohm. So this is the mic that's matched for it. I think it's $10 more to get it with the mic. Um, so you have your power, your mic, your tune button. The tune button basically when you put it in sends just a low carrier so that you can tune your antenna tuner and take it off and then you can operate normally. Your transmit indicator light, your analog S meter, needle S meter here, okay, and it ranges from S1 to plus 30 dB, all right. Your tuning. Now what you'll notice on the tuning, okay, there is a uh, a meter here with the arrow with the little red line okay and it starts for instance uh, if you're using this as a sideband radio okay you're going to be operating 14150 to 14350 okay now if th this unit can be optional with CW with a board I'll show you that goes inside uh, if you operate it with the board in CW now your range is 14.0 to 14.150 on the on the CW scale. So you have two scales here. You can't do both at the same time. Uh, so either you're using it for CW or you're using it for sideband. So uh, you can have the board installed and go back and forth. But uh, so we'll get into that in a minute. Your fine tube, fine tune, and your volume. So this is basically a course and then like a clarifier to uh, really get fine tuning in there to get that uh, station, okay? So, uh, one thing I want to point out here, the top firing speaker by the way, one thing I want to point out is that I saw a video or two online that were mentioning bad quality control. They were mentioning that the face plate, uh, the way it was stamped out, had sharp edges and a specifically uh, the Mion Tech review that I see has, uh, he has some sharp burrs here that he had to file off. I don't have that here. So evidently, MFJ made a improvement on the faceplate here. This is totally smooth, uh, rounded, no sharp edges at all. Very clean, very shiny. I have my fingerprints on here now, but when I took it out of the box, it was uh, brand new looking, okay? So it didn't have no scratches or anything. So the quality control of this radio myself, when I shake it, there's no new loose parts flying around like someone had stated. So very solidly built. Uh, on the sides here, you'll see the four screws are on each side. You can you can check it out online. Like the MFJ 971 is a portable QRP antenna tuner that's uh, 160 to 10 meters, and that would sit basically underneath this because you want the speaker to face the top. You set that underneath, and there's the brackets that would line up with this. You could bolt them together. Now you have a complete QRP station with the tuner underneath, and uh, that's what the holes are for here. Okay, uh, this can be used mobily if you so desire. Uh, on the back, here's your, your headphones, quarter inch headphone jack, your power input, and this requires, it says 12 to 15 volts, 1.2 amps. The manual states two amps. So you'd wanna have a little bit of overhead so that you have enough power. It doesn't draw much because it's only a 10 watt QRP. Center pin positive, so that's pretty standard. Uh, I have the power cord that came with it, it's plugged in right now. And uh, again, you'll, you'll see the CW in and out. So if you put the board in and you push CW button in, now you're on the CW scale and the tuning knob and uh, the key input for your uh, paddle or, or straight key. And the mic gain. Now it does tell you in the manual uh, if you have adjustments for your mic gain, uh, you can make it here with a small screwdriver. Keep in mind that the manual does state 
The circuitry for the audio amplifier in here is extremely sensitive and very sharp. So you do not need to yell into the microphone. You do not need to crank this to 100%. You're going to distort, okay? Uh, people that think they can get on H HF radio and scream like it's going to make you be uh, picked out of a HF pileup, sometimes the HF... Uh, uh, DX station will not take you because you're so distorted and screaming into the mic. So F MFJ recommends just talk normally in like a normal conversation speaking voice into the mic and you'll be just fine. If in the event that the audio is not, you're getting reports locally from you guys when you're testing it that the audio is just not there, you can tweak this slightly but do not crank it all the way up. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll take this apart real quick. We'll check out the insides of it and uh, real quick and then we'll put it on air. Now I'm gonna make a couple part two, part three videos that will show this with an MFJ pocket tuner on QRP as well as a loop tuner and uh, how to make simple dipoles and stuff to get you on the air. So you'll see this, video, this, this radio in operation in a couple different videos on my channel. This one is basically showing the radio as itself for anybody interested. And again, they do make uh, 40 meter versions, 20 meter versions, 10 meters, 12 meters, a lot of different versions of these and uh, with the light weight of this thing it's it's really really lightweight it can be run on battery power so a very good uh, backpacking rig and I want to do some of those videos to uh, uh, remote operation on battery and show you what you can do with QRP so let's take it apart and see what it's got All right, so let's, take, let's take a look inside here uh, the uh, parts are all labeled there's a few uh, variable resistors and a variable capacitor here uh, your variable tuning capacitor up front here okay and for the most part you shouldn't have to do anything in here other than if you look in the manual it will tell you uh, directions on how to make service checks to verify uh, frequency uh, VFO and uh, you know some other tests that you can do labeled in here with different things so you can make adjustments that do give you the idea the information on the manual as to how you, if you want to make uh, service uh, service uh, testing and procedures in here and also you look in the back now this is where I told you the uh, CW optional CW board would go and here's the four pins here so this would give you the the jacks in the back for the CW key and the uh, the uh, the parts for that so that that'll bolt right in here and uh, plug into this so not too confusing inside very basic okay and uh, let's go ahead and, and fire it up and show you some stuff. So it's truly a plug and play station. Turn it on. All right, and uh, start turning around. Slow scan TV, sending pictures. Look how low the volume is. It gets pretty loud. But uh, what I have found is with the headphones plugged in the back, it's a little bit more, uh, a little bit better audio fidelity with the headphones on than it is the speaker. Um, it might be the case design or the the room. I mean, it works just fine, but. If you're really into pulling in distant stations, you might want to try the headphones.
So, you know, there's really nothing to operating this. If you're a newcomer to the hobby, it's really not much to get involved in uh, QRP or HF operation if this is your first HF rig. If you're a seasoned operator with something like a 450 or something like an FTDX 5000, um, you know how to handle this radio. So there's nothing to it. It's not uh, anything that will scare you away or, or keep you from having a good time. It really is fun when you're operating QRP and it, it makes a challenge uh, when you're on battery power with a homemade wire antenna, no matter how ugly it looks. Uh, making 10 watt contacts on a radio like this and uh, so check out my other parts of this videos uh, the other ones I'm going to make here and we'll set this up portable on battery out in the over by the river somewhere maybe and in the backyard and we'll we'll uh, check it out hope that answers some questions about this radio the MFJ 9420 from KJ4YZI73